Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Hydroform here and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your Microsoft account to Minecraft Java Edition. Now you may be wondering, well, why do I have to connect my Microsoft account to my Minecraft Java Edition account? Well, the reason is because Microsoft is actually conducting a, an account migration. Now I know it may sound a bit complicated and it is quite frankly, I don't know why Microsoft is unnecessarily complicating stuff, but whenever the account migration stuff happens, a lot of people are going to be confused. And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your Microsoft account, like I said, to your Java Edition account. And so all you have to do, all right, so you're, you'll be in the Minecraft launcher. You have to launch the Minecraft launcher, obviously. And once you do that, what you need to do is head into settings. Now, once you head into settings, what you need to do, so you'll see general accounts about, you need to click on accounts. Wait, we are not done yet, guys. So don't just leave the video thinking that it's done. You still need to do some more steps. What you're gonna do is go and click on add Microsoft account, all right? And now, so basically why this might be helpful while this loads up, I'm just gonna explain. This will be helpful firstly because you get a free cape and secondly I think that you can play with players like without needing a server kind of like how you can play in Minecraft Bedrock Edition like you just need to be friends with them on your Xbox account and boom you can play with them with no LAN or servers required whatsoever and so yeah and so basically you're gonna sign in like I said and once you sign in what you're gonna do is just go ahead and click on next and so I'm going to quickly sign in off camera and I'll be right back all right guys, now that I've signed in, I'm just gonna tell you guys some of the advantages that may probably be there. See, none of the advantages are as of right now confirmed, except the fact that you get two-factor authentication, which means that your account is much safer and it's less likely to get hacked and all of that good stuff. And secondly, you're also going to get a cape. And now the third and fourth one are unconfirmed, but you will be able to play with players like your friends on Xbox. So say, not cross-platform, now do not get me wrong, you cannot play with someone who's playing on Minecraft Pocket Edition so if you're playing on Minecraft Java, you cannot play with anyone who's playing on Pocket Edition or Windows 10 Edition for that matter. I just mean that you can play with another person who's on Java if he's your friend on Xbox, which uh, previously you weren't able to do unless you had LAN uh, or a server specific to that. So yeah, so this is going to be a huge advantage. And this is basically how you sign in. So all you have to do is go ahead and click on let's go. So I have this and then I can also choose my account. So I can choose my official like my Mojang account and my Microsoft account as well. And uh, in the future, when you finally migrate, when everyone is able to migrate, you'll only have your uh, you'll only have your Microsoft account. You'll not have your Mojang account. You'll be not be having any use for it. So this is basically how you uh, connect your Microsoft account to your uh, Mojang account. So if you guys did find this video useful, then make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Now, goodbye.